Our prayer point today comes from Matthew 16. Jesus entered into the district of Caesarea Philippi. There he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They replied, Some think you're John the Baptist, others Elijah, others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets of old. Then Jesus asked them, But you, who do you say that I am? And Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus responded to Peter, saying, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you, but my Father in heaven revealed this to you. I will call you Peter, and on this rock I will establish my church, and the gates of death will not stand against it. I'll give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth, that will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth, that will be loosed in heaven. And he went on to explain plainly to his disciples that the Son of Man must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the religious elite and uh, be killed and on the third day raised. And Peter took him aside and said, God forbid this. This can never happen to you. And Jesus rebuked Peter and said, get behind me, Satan, because you are not thinking according to the things of God, but you are setting your interests, human interests, above the interests of God. In this story, there's a couple of important principles that we learn. One is that Jesus is the Lord, right? He is the Christ, and so he has the authority to make the decisions. Peter gets out of line. He gets in front of him and tries to correct him and tell him what to do, and Jesus has to remind him to get behind him. The other thing is that, that Peter, um, Peter is, is thinking in human terms instead of heavenly terms. He's not thinking according to the mission uh, of Jesus. Jesus explains clearly the mission, and Peter just doesn't want to go there with him. And so here's the thing that, uh, church, I hope um, we gain from this. And as we pray today, this is my prayer, that um, we would understand clearly the mission, the great commission uh, that Christ has put before us, uh, the vision of our church uh, to be together in Christ, uh, to nurture, to teach, to reach for the glory of God, that um, we would have wholesale alignment, that nobody in our congregation, not our pastors, not our leaders, uh, not our teachers, not our members, that none of us would go out on our own saying, no, uh, it has to be this way. Instead, that we would uh, capture the vision that Jesus has placed before us and that we would all align ourselves with him. Church, be blessed.